and welcome everyone here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Braum mid range. Uh, definitely a fun one to play because Braum is just a, a fun champion to play. Um, you know, it's going to be on the job with Braum. Um, we are going to be uh, playing this the same mid range deck that we've played uh, for the last month every once in a while. Um, the only thing that's changed in the deck is Navori Conspirator has turned from a 3-2 to a 2-2, but still a pretty decent deck, and it's, you know, probably my most successful Braum deck uh, to play. Um, we have the Jewel Protector Kinku Lifeblade combo in here, and just a, a, a couple of um, elusives in general with just Lifeblade, Assassin, and Conspirator, even though it's just the two Conspirators. So we can have Braum on the ground and then try to win in the air with our elusives. We can also make just our creatures big with Hearthguard. You know, we got Trindamir in here. It just kind of has a hodgepodge of cards, but it ends up working pretty well. So here we go. Let's play some Braum midrange. We have one other Braum deck today. Also, the Starlet, Starlet Stompy deck, uh, playing a new Starlet Seer deck. Um, and that will have a Braum in it later. It's going to have Braum and Draven. It's going to be the champions there. All right, so I don't want Kinku Lifeblade <clears throat> early, and Icefield Archer dies super easily. Um, I like Conspirator if we have Omen Hawk. If we don't have Omen Hawk, it's not very good. So I don't know if I. I probably just shouldn't keep it in that respect. But if we'd find Omen Hawk, then I would like it. But it, yeah, as you can tell, without Omen Hawk, it's not too good. And so there's only the two of them in here. All right. Let's see if the Starlet Seer. Okay, not yet. They cannot hide. So I can play another Shadow Assassin or a Babbling Bjerg. Let's go with the Bjerg. Uses my mana better. I uh, don't have to worry about having Will of Ionia available because they couldn't play Karma that turn. I do kind of want to have it available now, so I don't want to exactly just drop a 5-drop and then they play Karma. Um, Right? Uh, maybe we do actually. Kind of do need these five drops out here. Yeah, I think we should we should probably put pressure on them. All right, gonna. Pump up this Navori Conspirator so that we can play the Conspirator and bounce the Jewel Protector again so we can replay the Jewel Protector. Heart's pretty good against against Static Shock. Don't blink, or you miss me. Hmm. How do we want to do this now? 
Do I still want to bounce Jewel Protector, even though it has, even though we pumped it up with Take Heart? We're bouncing Bjerg. If we bounce Bjerg, we're just not, we're not going to replay Bjerg. Let's play the Shadow Assassin. And then maybe bounce Shadow Assassin. I will play my part. It's too late for you. Alright, Jewel Protector back. Yone would be like the big problem of playing something pre-combat would be Yone. Probably still worth it though, right? Probably. And so if they do have Yone, I want to have Ice Veil Archer. Frostbite the Yone. Only I can quell the wind. Darn, they did have Yone. Unfortunate. I still I made made my best play against Yone that I could. Got rid of health potion. Zero's at six. Six is not so good. work. Come on, bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce it. What are you doing? Don't play anything. You don't need to play nothing. Just let it resolve. Don't play anything else. Let me go to attack. Don't have anything else. And I win. I like that. Let's go. Let's go with that line. Just don't play another card the rest of the game. Bronco. No cards. No cards. No. So Ezreal's leveled up. Uh. 
All right, so do we harsh winds that six six? No, I think we just play other stuff. All right, well, good news, we did get Ezreal out of here. Bad news, they have leveled up Karma. And it's kind of impossible to beat leveled up Karma. Whoever learned something, that's probably it. It's kind of impossible to beat leveled up Karma. You would say they only have three cards. That's what they want you to believe. That they only have three cards. Technically they have four cards. Now, and then now they're drawing the fifth. All they need is one of those cards to be another karma. And then they have then they suddenly have eight, you know, eight or nine cards. And it's just over. They just have one of those be a karma, it's another eight it's another four cards. Or that thing. GG. You just can't you can't possibly beat level up karma. It's not It's not possible. It's like you said, so last turn, oh they only have three cards. Well that's all I need. That's all I need. So it was that Will of Ionia removing my 5 5 elusive that last turn. It was their second. Oh, that, that will, that was. That got me. Maybe we need to just play more stuff pre combat. That's something that. That's something that probably people don't do against as Karma enough is play things pre combat. But of course, y Yone is just the problem. So the Jewel Protector Life Blade combo is awesome. I'm gonna keep it, but we could definitely lose this game. Like we need we need to get lucky with our other draws of finding it early interaction. Drawing Will of Ionia, Spirit's Refuge, that is that would not count. Ice Veil Archer, that that counts. Because we need to stabilize because we're gonna have turn six life blade. There we go, sentry, that counts. A pretty tough Legion drummer. Brom is on the job. Brom is on the job. Good guy, Brom. Good guy. Start leveling up. Wait, what happens if you give a Senna quick attack? Is it like a super quick attack? What does that even do? We march as one, an unstoppable force. A true Felyorian welcome. Is that even a thing? Can you have a super quick attack? Quickest attack? Hmm. 
More quick than quick attack. Quickest attack. Yeah, my opponent's trying to start a band. They got all the drummers, at least. Wow. Is that card good? I'm not sure. I, of course, didn't want to use the Will of Ionia in this spot, but I want Braum to survive. why you play an avalanche. You never know when your opponent's going to play nothing but 3-2s and 4-2s. They really did play nothing but 3-2s and 4-2s. <laughs> that's not an avalanche. That's not an avalanche. That's a tsunami. <laughs> that's a tsunami. GG. The good part about our deck it just has like a bunch of random stuff in it and that random stuff can be you know use useful or more useful depending on the situation kind of like what we got going on here you know karina control got to be um i don't like that card gotta have some power the beer gets us a little bit of power hey what's up yud thank you yud thanks for the bits Saying, I finally have a non-stressful day at work. Can watch the stream. That glad to have you here. Thank you, Yun. That egg. Did it work? And also glad you got the non-stressful day at work. <laughs> Looks like the tutorial game to play Avalanche. Probably. But this is why I kept Avalanche in this matchup. You know, they're always brood awakening and stuff. <laughs> I guess I should block. I should have blocked with this. I should have blocked the hapless aristocrat. Yeah, I should have blocked. I'd follow you anywhere. My true beauty is the Hmm. Eight mana. Don't have like a great line. Great line. Hmm. 
Wow, we got a gift and out a sub. To say moi. Get those hype boats in here, say moi. Our third sub of the day already. We're only two subs away from that sub goal. Oh yeah. Say moi definitely need that time. All right, let's not. That's at least at least that's not another brood awakening. So that's good. The war mother will unite us all. So many grasp the undyings. Hmm. All right. So if I want to play this card, I'll have six mana left. I want to play Jewel Protector, Avaros, and Sentry, and take card, but I can't do all that. So that's what I want to do. I decided I'm not going to play the take card on that thing. It would just turn into a three toughness thing on the ground. Still very easy to kill. I think I want to you know, maybe try to use the take card on one of these kind of cards. I can't play Shadow Assassin. I have to play something that can block. Let's lead with the Bjerg. Even if I would have played the, the Life Blade instead of the Bjerg, it wouldn't have mattered. They would have just done that before damage. Like, I, I was dead if they had six burn spell damage. That Karina control deck's pretty good. That deck's pretty good. 0 2 against that thing today. Yeah. And 0 1 against As Karma. So the two best decks in the format were 0 3 against. We're 3 and 2 against everything else. But those. Two decks that are definitely the two best, which are Karina Control and S Karma. We're winless against those today. All right, Yasuo. Um, Yasuo is a tough one. We, we're not really playing removal, and so Yasuo, like if they have turn, basically if they if they play turn four Yasuo and then have a bunch of you know, stun and things like that, like Minotaur, Reckoner, Yone's. That's going to be tough for us to beat. I would like a two or a three mana card, please. It's 
You're having the best win rate against Karina control with War Mother's Tiana. I guess if they, if they want us to pass, I guess we just pass. Do I just, ha do I just pass again? here. Speaking of Will of Ionia, that makes my Jewel Protector a lot worse. This is a 2-7 Braum? Well, that's not bad. Yeah, from it, I've been, I've been just playing Legends of Runeterra instead. Uh, I wrote this thing a couple months ago, but... Um, been really enjoying this game. It's a good deck versus Fiora Zed. The Fiora Zed, the standalone deck. Um. No, I, I wouldn't think the Yasuo would be. Um. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. I'm not sure. The, the thing about that deck is whenever they draw, you know, like one of the champs and they draw like standalone or especially multiple standalones and, you know, they have the protection, that kind of deck, it, it beats everything. When you have the, when you have like a good hand and you have the cards uh, line up, you're beating everything. There's not like a, a good strategy against it. It's, it's the most powerful thing if you have everything line up with the standalones and everything. So basically, it's it's best game beats everybody else's best game. But I would say I, I would definitely say you would want um, like I'd probably say like Karma as like you want interaction, you want Will of Ionia in particular. So I guess that that does give credence to this deck here. You do want you do want Will of Ionia. Um, yeah, I know they have Deny. Strikes. Killing strikes have not been helping. I 
I guess Minotaur Reckoner and uh, like Rhyme Tusk Shaman. Yeah, like Ash, Rhyme Tusk, Rhyme Tusk Shaman is awesome against the deck. If you want like just one individual card. Yeah, save for right now, RJ. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend holding off on crafting stuff since we have the new set uh, coming next week. Probably recommend holding off. Alright, what's up, Braum? Come on, stop. Point strike, so annoying. Dang. Not been our day today. So the thing about Legends of Runeterra, there's not really bad decks. Like, people don't... People don't really play bad decks. You don't get any easy wins. Really need, especially when you play off the wall decks like I do, you really need things to line up well for you. It's tough. It's tough. Hey, Boot. Hope you had a good day at work today. You don't get free wins in Legends of Runeterra. No, you know, everybody always has, uh, you know, good hands and curves out and everything like that. You don't get free wins in this game. There's no mana screw. There's no mulligan to five. What you looking for? Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, yeah, there are there are no non-games. I like that too, but it it can make playing jank a little harder. Because of that. Like you have to beat, you have to beat everybody straight up. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Night falls. We haven't really gotten great use out of the take hearts today. Um, yeah, Braum's probably the weak. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Braum's probably the weakest champion in the game now. No, it's it's no, it's Darius. I think no, Darius is the probably the worst champion in the game. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's Braum though. Yeah, I, yeah, with like with the updates to. Yasuo, um, I guess it could be Shen. Shen could be the worst champion. It's 
pretty suspicious they just, you know, pass turn, five mana. Yeah, it does. Yep, if you use Poro Snacks, it does buff. Um, it does buff the Poros that uh, Braum can make. I would like them to deny this. Yeah, get the deny out of their hand. Alright, pick the hearth card back up. I hope this works. Basically, they have to have Will of Ionia to keep it from working. Really hope they don't have Will of Ionia. Come on, no Will of Ionia. Why do they always have the like the only card they can have? And they win. Why? Oh, even worse. Firing. They also kill my card that blocked Ezreal. Hopefully this other avalanche kills the Ezreal this next turn. And then maybe they don't find, maybe they don't have any more Ezreals or Karmas.
Maybe. Maybe no more Ezreal, no more Karma. Probably gonna just go another Hearth Guard and Shadow Assassin this turn. My Braum's pretty small. Just zero power. That's the Brahma need. Our will lead the way. You cannot escape. How many mystic shots do they have? Sure. It's their fifth mystic shot to cast, but I think that's only like their second regular one. I think they've gotten two free ones from Ezreal's and they had an Ezreal mystic shot. Shouldn't attack with the 3-3. Three, three. So they level up Ezreal. I'm so good, I surprised myself. I do have removal for Ezreal. Nothing escapes my watch. With the Braum. All right, so draw the Will of Ionia have kind of changed plans. I know they could have a Yone, but if they have a Yone, they're not playing spells that kill me. Basic... So they did have the Yone. Um, which we are going to be bouncing with Will of Ionia. didn't work. My plan didn't work. Should have just gone straight to attacks. Yeah, because we're just 
100% dead now to the Ezreal. Braum deck did not work out today. Um, yeah, just didn't work. Ezreal Karma is tough to beat. That deck's good. So is Karina Control. We know three against those decks. Um, and then, yeah, you know, Yasuo uh, with Minotaur Reckoner. Minotaur Reckoner is also another really hard card to beat. So, you know, just just ran into some, some difficult stuff. Um, but... Braum will uh, have a chance to, you know, we're going we're gonna to play another Braum deck with the Starlet Stompy later on. So Braum will have another chance uh, there to try again. But this metagame does not look too kind to Braum. Um, it's just not good against any of those decks, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, it's not a great metagame for Braum, but who knows? We'll, we'll try again with the, the Starlet Stompy deck. All right, but those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. And, uh, you know, if you're trying out Braum yourself, let me know how it's going for you. We've we've had a lot of success with this deck in the past, but this current metagame does not look so good for it. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching some Braum midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.